<laughs> no, no, he, he can't get it on the video. Hey guys, this is Sasha from NetworkNews.com. Um, still at the Toshiba Press event. Uh, we've been quite productive today, doing lots of videos, and we just stumbled upon uh, some ancient uh, kind of netbooks. Because, I mean, look at this one. The Toshiba Libretto L2. It definitely looks like a netbook. But this is coming from 2001. Um, running a transmitter cruiser. I'm not sure if you guys can still remember this transmitter manufacturer. Um, I know them from the embedded market. We had some industrial mini ITX main boards with a transmitter cruiser. 600 megahertz, 128 megabytes of RAM, and a 10 gigabyte hard disk drive. So that means you can install uh, Microsoft Office and Internet Explorer and maybe Skype, and that's it. Um, running Windows uh, Millennium or Windows uh, 2000 Professional, and you had these two options. Um, a 10 inch display, 1024 by 600 is the resolution. Non glossy, so fantastic. A very decent keyboard. I wish some of the uh, netbooks of our days uh, would have such a keyboard. A little track point, something that we know from uh, the Lenovo and from the uh, IBM ThinkPads. And over here we have some very fancy design uh, mouse buttons and I'm not sure why they have uh, twice or uh, 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 two times these mouse buttons, smaller ones over here. Let's take a quick look around this. Um, yeah, oh well. Here, here we go again. I think I think that that's a PCM CIA slot over here. I have no clue about this one here. Um, checks for the microphone and headset, volume control, USB 1.1, maybe, maybe only 1.0, uh, Ethernet connector, uh, connector for the PSU, and look, even back in these days, they already had this horrible Kensington Keylog mania. Kensington Keylog mania. <coughs> um, not sure about the battery life. Um, Let's see what the capacity Aww. is. Isn't it cute? 1900 milliampere battery running at 1.9 volt. So, well, I can't tell you anything about the TDP of the transmitter cruiser right now, but I'm sure this might only run for some two hours or something. But anyways, it's super light and it's actually the form factor that we know from the netbooks in these days. You know what, let's, let's go on with the next one, um, because we also have a Toshiba Libretto U100. That, that is a little newer than the, uh, the L2. Um, this comes, I think it was a Pentium M at mm -hmm. 900 megahertz or around one gigahertz, one gigabyte of RAM, and I think already a 60 gigabyte hard disk drive. So wow, wow, woo -wee. This is already <laughs> a very uh, decent device. Um, I think that's seven inch. Over here, this was running a Windows XP, had fingerprint scanner, track point again, and super small uh, keyboard. Well, it's a super small device. Let's take a quick look around it. Uh, there's an Ethernet connector. That's a modem. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are also USB 1 or 1.0 uh, or 1.1. Uh, jacks for the microphone, headset. Again, a manual volume control. That was the big thing in these days. And, um, yeah, oh, that's the opener for the PCM CIA card slot, a 4-in-1 card reader. Um, that, I'm not sure that can't be an HDMI. <laughs> just, I'm a little bit confused right now. And you can switch on and off the, um, the Wi-Fi, and there is a connector for the PSU. Uh, on the back side, let's take a look at the battery. If I can get it out there without breaking it. Uh, oh, how about this one? Here we go. That's 3,400 milliampere battery. So, again, I have no clue about the TDP of the Pentium M uh, in these days. <coughs> and, oh my god, look at this. True surround speakers. So that was a multimedia mini notebook or mini PC or handheld. Anyways, it's just fantastic. Don't forget about oh, the... oh, don't forget about this <laughs> multimedia docking station over here. That sports a DVD ROM. So and you can just get it on there. And then you have multimedia and you can watch all your cool DVDs with Dolby surround sound on this fantastic 7 inch display of the Toshiba Libretto U100. Hey, this is Sasha von Airpopnews.com at the Toshiba event down here in Taipei. Thanks for watching.